In this class, we are going to learn about custom events in Oracle Visual Builder application. We will learn how to create a custom event. Also, we will see how to create an event listener for the custom event. And also, we will see when the user clicks some button on the page or if the user takes some action, how to make use of the custom event and invoke the action chain which is available as part of the event listener which we create. Here is the documentation page by Oracle. If you go to the Oracle Visual Builder development documentation under the table of content, we have to go to develop applications under that working with JavaScript action chain and in that you will see start an action chain. Here if you see by firing a custom event, there is a topic. If you go through this, you will see in detail what Oracle says about custom event and how we can make use of the same in our applications. First of all, I will create a custom event. In order to create the custom event, we have to just switch the tab from page designer to the events. Click on the custom event. I will name the custom event as custom event itself. But if you are using some naming convention in your project, you can provide the name as per that. Once you have created a custom event, next is we have to go to the event listener. So before that, we can create a custom event with empty payload or we can pass some input parameter while invoking a custom event. Now I will create a message kind of input payload parameter. Now from the type we can select any type. For demonstration purpose I am considering it as a string. You can select any of the types even the custom type. Click on create. I have created a message that is a payload which I will be passing while invoking this custom event. Next we have to create an event listener. That is when someone makes use of this custom event what this custom event has to perform. So these details we will define in the event listener that is with the help of action chain. Now if you scroll down towards the end we will see the custom events which we have created at the page level. If you have created at the application level it will list accordingly. Now select the custom event. Click on next. I will create the action chain associated with that custom event over here. I will name this as custom event action chain. Click on finish. Now somebody calls the custom event. What that custom event has to do that we have to define with the help of this action chain. As you know we have created a payload that is a message parameter while creating a custom event. So that we can map over here automatically it will be mapped if not we can just map over here if it is not coming for you. As it is mapped over here for us we are not modifying again. Now whenever someone calls this custom event I want to send a notification to the user. But in your case it could be a complex scenario wherein you have to update multiple applications when the user performs some tasks so you can do according to your business requirement. Now I will drop the fire notification over here. Message what I will do is I will pass whatever I get in the custom event when the user calls the custom event. Here I will tell this is from fire event action in action chain. That's it. Now let's go back to the page designer. Now we have created a custom event and also we have created an event listener in order to tell what the custom event will do. Next we have to make use of the custom event. Now I will drop the button over here. Button I will name this as fire event action. Now coming to the events I have to select on click action chain. Next step is in order to invoke any custom event what we have to do is we have to drop this fire event action. From the drop down we have to select the custom event. Now here we are not getting an option to select the event listener or the action chain just we have to select the custom event. When we select the custom event behind the scene what it does is it will look up the event listener which is listening to this custom event that we have created over here earlier to this. So that will be called automatically. Now let me go back to my action chain over here. Yeah, fire event and the message I am passing that this is from the fire event action when user clicks on the button, clicks on button. Done. Now let me just go back to the page designer, switch over to the live mode and click on fire event. Now here if you see we are getting the notification which is from the custom events action chain or the event listener. So like this we can make use of the custom event and you can call with the help of fire event within our on click or any action what the user performs on the screen. In our next class we will see how we can avoid calling this custom event with the help of fire event. Instead we will make a call to the javascript function and javascript function in turn will call the custom event by using some functions.